Hi, this is Eric Sloof over at NTPro.nl and in this video I'm going to show you an awesome new vSphere 5 feature called the vSphere Web Client. So in order to get access to this web client you have to put in the hostname or URL in a supported browser and in my case uh, the hostname of my vCenter server based on vSphere 5 is vc5.ntpro.local and I'm using self-signed certificates so I'm getting the warning and I have to continue to this website and I I already opened a second instance to the website and eventually you will see this cool new shiny user interface but first the difference with the old landing page this is the home page of your vSphere server and there used to be a link right here called vSphere web vSphere web access but now we see a link to the vSphere web client so the new web client is completely rewritten it's based on Adobe Flex and it's awesome it's just really nice to work with. I'm putting in the username and password of my administrator account and then I'm going to log on to my vCenter server through this newly web client. And the web client has a lot of cool features like deploying virtual machines from templates, cloning existing virtual machines and even changing configuration settings and creating new virtual machines from within your browser. So even you, if you are running a Linux shop and you don't have a lot of Windows machines to manage your vSphere environment, you're still able to give your Linux clients the opportunity to create new virtual machines or man managing their existing virtual machines. So all the features that are that, that were available in the old vSphere web access are also available in the web client, but it looks much more, much fresher, much better, it's faster, and uh, the inventory is real great. I remember that the inventory in the vSphere web access was a bit clumsy sometimes you didn't see all the objects but the inventory within the vSphere web client is has really been improved so uh, it's taking a little bit too long to initialize but I was testing so maybe that's uh, the cause of the fact that it's running a little bit slow so welcome to the vCenter server inventory and what you will see is three panes the left pane is used for your inventory the middle pane will show you the selected objects from the left pane and the right pane is used for the day-to-day -day business like your recent tasks your alarms you can put in work in progress and now we see the summary of the complete vCenter 5 server and it's simply the same as your vSphere client you can click this object open and then you will see your data center and when you open your data center you, you will see your uh, you will see your clusters and eventually your virtual machines and you can also show the virtual machines within a resource pool even the different views you can create are also present right here so when you are using the vSphere client on Windows then you have the opportunity to go to virtual machines and templates, hosts and clusters, data stores and networks and in this case we also see the same kind of view so we see virtual machines and templates with the blue folders we see the hosts and clusters and data stores and networks so everything is available you cannot compare this client to a full-blown vSphere client on Windows because the uh, Windows client has much more features much more things to configure or to set but it can be used in the day-to-day -day, uh, uh, administrating environment for uh, for a vSphere 5 environment so it's really nice I hope you like it you can uh, uh, try it out if you are running a vSphere 5 vCenter server and I had a lot of fun with using this web client. Eric Sloof is signing off. Hope you enjoyed it and hope you hope to see you back on antipro.nl. Many thanks for watching.